Hey, welcome back to Afternoon Break. We have two very special guests joining us today. You might recognize the Hall of Famer himself, Johnny Bench. And not to be outdone, we have Dr. Maritza Perez joining us as well to talk about something uh, very close to both of their lives. Guys, thank you both for joining us today. All right. Thank, thank you, you, Sam. We're going to get right to it. Uh, Johnny, for starters, uh, back in uh, 2012, uh, you went to the doctor and they found something. Talk to us a little bit about what that was. Well, Sam, I'd had some uh, blisters under my eyelids and I went to see my eye doctor and uh, they had they had been reoccurring. And I guess that's why I wanted to see him. And he said, I really needed to see a dermatologist. I went to a dermatologist. He, uh, through a, a biopsy, found out that they were uh, non-melanoma skin cancers and uh, performed the uh, most surgery on them and uh, recommended that I come back and see him uh, at least uh, every six months. I started seeing him, and then all of a sudden, I found a spot uh, on the side of my face. And then only recently, about six months ago, they found another spot on my chest. So as Dr. Perez will tell you that uh, most of your sun damage is done by the time you're 18 to 21 years old. And sun is our, uh, you know, the, the bad person in all of this because it's going to cause if you're not if you're not protected if you don't wear the right clothes so since that time i'm still seeing my doctor i'm working with regeneron we're partnering with them with a a new website well a website that we did last year actually it's my second year called let's get real about skincancer.com let's get real about skincancer.com we'd like you to go there pledge to see a dermatologist learn everything you need to know about how to protect yourself and uh, Dr. Perez, for those who aren't aware, can you explain exactly what non-melanoma skin cancer is? Very relevant. Non-melanoma skin cancer is the most common cancer diagnosed in the United States. Over 5 million are diagnosed on a yearly basis. Uh, they comprise mainly basal cell carcinomas, which is the most common, and cutaneous squamous cell carcinoma, which is the second most common. And both of those uh, uh, diagnosed early and treated early uh, are, are totally cured by surgery. However, if left untouched and undiagnosed, they could keep growing, go deeper, and they can travel. And the effort here is to try to um, get everyone to do their own skin exam on a regular basis, know your spots and the changes of your spots, and then consult your board certified dermatologist uh, for the annual exam, because that will lead you to a complete cure and will prevent uh, more complications. And Dr. Prez, you talked a little bit about, you know, doing those checks yourselves. I don't know about you, but I got a, I got a lot of freckles on my arm. What are, what are we looking for when it comes to something like that? You're looking for, you have to know your spots. So your spots that don't change are not really kind of important, but you have to look at your spots and see how they evolve. And if they change in color, size, uh, symmetry or asymmetry, if they bleed, uh, or if they all of a sudden appear and they were not there, then you just have to go visit your board certified dermatologist soon. Now, Johnny, obviously you spent a lot of time out in the sunshine playing baseball. When you get out in the sunshine now, are, are you dressing a little bit differently? What, what precautions are you taking now that maybe you didn't back then? Well, I, I'm telling you, Sam, since 2012, you know, I've always kind of loved long sleeve shirts to begin with. And of course, I've worn since that 2012 episode at sun, more sunglasses, big hats to fish in, big hats. I even use gloves now. I mean, and mm -hmm. truthfully, I love fishing gloves because I think if you know, there you can catch your fish, you can do what you want. But it's also, it seems like my sun, the skin is always being burned. It's out there and it's stuck in those, you know, in the just in the sunshine. It's going to cause problems. So I'm doing more and more, and I'm finding out from Dr. Perez that not all these shirts are SPF mm. and that you need to have, not even long sleeve shirts. You need the SPF because you will suffer. Uh, it's just important that, that I do as much protection as I can. And more importantly, as Dr. Perez says, avoid the high impact hours, like the high noons and when the sun is at its point that will cause you more problems. So, Dr. Perez, you're not saying don't go outside, stay inside, never see the sun. You're well, saying take precaution. 
I'm not telling you to be a hermit because <laughs> we need to socialize. We're human beings of socialization. So what you need to do is do it wisely. So you protect yourself. You use your hat, your glasses. You put your sunblock. You reapply it every two hours. You use sun protection factor, 50 shirts. And don't go in the middle of the day. Go early in the morning, in the afternoon, and then you're fine. And visit your board-certified dermatologist. <laughs> yes, good advice. Uh, now, Johnny, you got to talk. You got the sign there behind you. Let's get real about skin cancer. Tell us what this is and why this is so important uh, to you. It's information. You know, we can. I can tell you and tell you and tell you, but until you actually see it and and visualize it, and you go to the website and you want to know more, and it answers your questions. It says, what can I do? Where can I find a, a dermatologist? What ones in my area? There's also websites out there for the. Uh, National Dermatological Association that will give you, you know, just Google a, a, a area code. You, you Google a, a zip code and you will find out where the doctors are in your area. So uh, let's get real. It's just information that you should have, I should have, and we will never know enough except that we get great treatment. We get, we protect ourselves and all this stuff is really basically curable. And uh, that's the whole point is to not go to this point is that you wind up in a situation where now the roots are dug down or it's found a new spot or it's metastasized or it's done whatever. So all of these things are just being cautious about what you're doing in your life. If we can get everyone that goes to the website to make a pledge to go visit your dermatologist, we have done our, our job. Sam, uh, Dr. Perez said she would see you tomorrow afternoon in Connecticut. <laughs> That's, good. That's a good idea. I'll make the trip. You get me a point. <laughs> I'll start the car now. Thank you, uh, <laughs> Johnny, you know, this is something that you don't have to talk about. This is something that you can keep private. But why is it something that you want to make sure people know what you've gone through and how they can help themselves? Are you kidding me? Uh, anybody I can help uh, with knowledge and learning something, being being involved has just been a wonderful thing for me. And if we can save one life, uh, that's that's all we can ask for. And it's just like the information is is king. Once you have that information, you can make decisions for yourself. But if I make a decision to make your life change, then you're going to make a decision and tell all these other people. Mm -hmm. And by having this out on the air, a lot of people are going to be listening. And whether they listen to me or Dr. Perez, we don't care. Mm -hmm. We just want the idea that these people will get it, get tested and maybe find something that will prevent any further problems. Mm -hmm. Well, Johnny, Dr. Perez, you guys are both doing Hall of Fame work, in my opinion. Thank you so much for... Thank you, Sam. Remember, tomorrow, 1230. <laughs> well, thank you guys again All so right. much for your time. Head to our website to get more information about Let's Get Real About Skin Cancer and how you can get yourself an appointment, maybe with Dr. Perez and me tomorrow. <laughs> thank you. See ya. Great advice there. Great work, Sam, landing that.